This tutorial is a demonstration over the basic structure of a course in Epsilon. So whether it be the instructional technology course that you're seeing here, or Tech and Society, or any other courses that you may find on Epsilon, there's a basic structure that is found. So over on the left, once you get, actually get into the course, you have your different navigation tools. So you can see the syllabus, which I'll allow you to see on your own. Uh, you also have lessons. Lessons, as I go into lessons, is the main content area for the course. So here we have our different lessons, so for example, week two. And inside here are different sections for each one. So you can see an introduction, and then as you click through, you'll get the content for each one of these different sections. Over on the left, you also have a calendar that will show assignment dates throughout the class. Resources, that any resources that I have for you, I can give you in there. Dropbox is a place where you can turn assignments into me. Now, not necessarily all, all assignments will be turned in this way, but there will be certain times that I have you submit assignments to the job, Dropbox, and typically I'll create a folder that has the specific assignment name where you're to submit your assignment. Below we have announcements and course mail, which I'll allow you to look through on your own. There's also members, where here you can go in and see a list of all the members in the class and so click on students and you can scroll down and see all the different students in the course. What you can also do is if you click on a particular student's name then over on the on the top you'll see their Epsilon ePortfolio so if you click on that link it will then take you to this particular person's specific ePortfolio that they have. So this is a way that you can go through the class and kind of read uh, each other's ePortfolio and just kind of see who else is in this particular course. Once again, that is under the Members tab. Work groups, I currently don't have any work groups, but will likely create these in the future. Uh, I wanted to wait to get everybody in the course, but there's a decent chance that I will go ahead and group you up. And, uh, as you notice, there was you know 60 plus members in this course, and so for some assignments and some activities, I'll actually group you. And when I do that, I will direct you there. But you'll see a group one or group two, depending on which group you're in. And under there, you'll have the students that are in your particular group. There's a take notes feature, which you can work on your own. Uh, typical that we see in a lot of course management system is a, a course forum discussion board, and we will use that from time to time in this class. A chat session or feature a wiki which we will talk about later on and then the grade book obviously in here I will go ahead and post your grades as we get through working through the semester and so your grades will be noted in there at this time the grade book does not support adding up the points automatically and so that's something that you'll have to do on your own hopefully that will be changed here in the new future and then lastly you have the options here where you can set different options for the particular course including your picture that you have there once again, when you're inside your course, that it's an inside a shell on its own. And so if you want to get out of the course, you need to go over and go to Exit Course, and this will take you back to your ePortfolio. And so if you're wanting to work on your ePortfolio, you have to exit the course first. Or if you want to get back into the course here, you go back into the course this. So there's different rooms within Epsilon, and so if you want to do something different, you may have to exit the room or exit the course.